Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. Islam is the way of life. It is something we hear all the time. But before we know what Islam is way of life is about, we need to know why then Muslims they cross the sea desperately going to Europe if Islam is the way of life. Why somebody want to leave the land of Islam? All those who we see in England preaching about Islam, they are desperately immigrated from their Islamic land, which is not their, really their Islamic land. It was a land they conquered by the sword, stole it either from the Christians or the Hindus, etc. If Islam is a way of life, why every single Pakistani wish to go to England? Why every single person in Bangladesh wish to go to Europe? Even those from Saudi Arabia, which is a very wealthy country, why all of them, they have their palaces in Europe or in America or in Monaco? Why they don't enjoy Islam in the Islamic land? So when somebody come to us and he give us a speech about Islam is the way of life, you will find that none of them enjoy Islam really and none of them they want Islam. As an example, how many Muslim countries they really want Islam? None. Including Saudi Arabia. Maybe many of you think that Saudi Arabia practice Sharia law. They don't. They practice very, like, let us say, a part of it. Because they don't want all Islam to be practiced. For Islam is ugly. Who is stopping Algeria, Egypt, uh, Tunisia, uh, Libya, Syria, Iraq, Jordan? I mean, all of them, they claim to be Muslims. But nobody practices Islam. What is Islam? Islam is Sharia law. If you don't practice Sharia law, there is no Islam. Islam is a state, government, and law, which is a gang law. So when you don't practice the law, which is given to you by Allah, or Aka Muhammad, Aka the video, the video editor, then you don't want Islam. So they lie to us about Islam is the way of life, but none of them want it. As an example, if this guy, he really want Islam, why he is wearing Western clothes? You see, according to Muslims, according to Muhammad, the one who practice something of the foreigner, he is, he is one of them. If you dress like them, you are one of them. If you talk like them, you are one of them. So why he is wearing a tie? I mean, what a guy, he's a Muslim from Bangladesh or from India, I don't know where he's from, is wearing a tie. They wear jeans. But this is against Islam. Islam is a way of life. Isn't you who said Islam is a way of life? Islam is a way of life. It's mean even your clothing, your food, everything is in the manual of Islam. What to dress, what not to dress, what to eat, what not to eat. So Islam is a free control. Islam is a slavery religion. If we ask this guy, uh, uh, Zakir Naik, what is a uh, way of life? He will tell us. You should not rob, you should not cheat, you should be truthful, you should pray to Almighty God, you should give charity to the poor. All these are instructions, like when you appear for an examination, brother. Brother, the fact all those he said, it's the opposite. A Muslim, according to Islam, he should rob. Isn't it Muhammad he ordered, he says, I've been, how many robbery Muhammad he did? You should not rob, uh, he, but he will not tell you, you should not rob a Muslim. But if you want to rob, you can rob non-Muslims. All those are a robbery of Muhammad. Look how many. Muhammad, he was a pirate in the road. Anyone went across the road, he attack him, he take his money. He have a spy, they say, you know, where is people, they are going here, there, traveling with a lot of money. He wait for them, and he ambush them, and he take their money. Look how many. You should not rob. Look how, this is all Muhammad attacks, all of this. Look at this. All those are nothing but robbery. An attack on the road, in the highway. And then they say to you, Islam says, don't rob, really. When you have your, your biggest, your master is a thief. Even the Muslims, after they steal clothes, 
As an example, the Quran speaks about the Muslims accusing their prophet that he's stolen underwear. Give a charity. Uh, the charity from where? From the robbery. Charity to who? To the gang, you know, the, 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 the women who they are sleeping with them, they give them a piece of underwear and some food because they are the one who serves them. This is a charity really. You steal money from somebody, you give it to the woman you sleep with her. When a woman, she was dying in the desert from hunger and a Bedouin Muslim man, he was walking by. She begged him for some food and some water, otherwise she would die. He said, I will not do it to you unless you let me sleep with you. The woman, she had no choice, she would die. She slept with him. When they went to town, she went to the caliphate and she told him, well, this guy, he did this. I was dying. He forced me into sexual intercourse with him so I can get some food and water. He screamed saying, Mahar, 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 which means dowry. <laughs> it's a dowry. If you force a woman, he pay you. He paid you. This is Islam, a way of life. A woman in the highway, a Muslim will not refuse, will not accept to give you some water unless you take off your panty. And if you do so, this is not a rape. This is a dowry. And I challenge any Muslim saying I'm lying. I challenge any Muslim to say that the story I'm saying is not true. I challenge every single Muslim who is wearing underwear or without underwear his, like his prophet. They will not dare to say, I challenge you. The way of life is what Muhammad did, isn't it? And the way he taught, isn't it? Islam is a white cult supremacist. Even those who they are defending Islam today, maybe many of them, they are not white, but they are ignorant. The white Arab, they wanted to be the supreme. And Muhammad was speaking to the white Arab, not those who called them Muslims, really, the Arab Muslims. You are the best of people ever raised up for the benefit of mankind. When you see the word benefit between two brackets, you think, really, there's a benefit there. I mean, what benefit? That's nice. Maybe the Muslims will bring a, 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 a benefit for mankind. Maybe they will make drugs for cancer. Maybe they will help the poor. Maybe, I don't know. What, what is benefit? Read carefully. Then he continues saying the benefit, the benefit or the best of you for the mankind is the one who go do jihad and bring a human being like a bunch of dogs and put a chain around their necks until they embrace Islam. That is the way of life, isn't it? Is that what your prophet said? Or we are making things up? Huh? Isn't it this is your prophet teaching you how to live? Teaching you that you are the best of mankind, you are a supreme. This is why when Muslims, when they talk to someone that's a Muslim, they speak to him from above. They think they are like the high. When they are the, the I mean, I don't want to put people down, but if you go and see Islamic, how Islamic people live, I mean, how you are proud about what exactly? Your police is corrupt, your judge is corrupt, you are corrupt. Muhammad, he says you can lie in three cases, to your wife, to your, your family, your friends, and your enemy. This is a way of life. A way of life that your wife, she asked you, do you have additional wife beside me? You say to her, no, sure. No, I don't. Uh, lying, yeah, because you are his allowed. Actually, I saw a stupid woman, sorry to say the word stupid woman, but she is obviously, she married a Muslim, and then she went to the Fatwa website. Maybe I can't find actually the link, maybe see, let me see. But I don't remember the title. Uh, she asked the Sheikh that her husband, he did lie to her. He's, I think, from Jordan. He married another woman, and he did not tell her that he is, you know, each, each time she asked him, where are you going to Jordan? You know, did she ask him, are you married? He, he said no. Then she discovered that he is married. He have a new, brand new girl. She is young, very young, not like the women who married her to get a green card or to get the citizenship. 
Okay. Let me see if I can find. I will search my husband lied to me fatwa. Maybe we can't find it. <laughs> Actually, I found the thing, but uh, there is an error to open it. But let us see if we can find it in different page. No, the, the, the website is down. See, this is maybe later you can search it. I think this is the one, you know. And here the Sheikh, he told her, will he have the right to lie to you? Why you are even asking? He have the right to marry four. Why you are even asking? You see, I tried to click, it giving me error. See, so server error, 500. This is a way of life that even the wife, she don't know if this guy, he is sleeping with someone else because he have the right to sleep with four. And he do not, and he should not, he, he, he have no need to tell you that he have someone else in other bed. It's not your business. And then they say to us, Islam is a way of life. Islam is a way of life. Is that putting nails in the eyes of people? Who of you do like to see people hanged in the cross in the middle of the square, cutting their hands and their feet, and kids were sharing up and playing with the head of the one get killed, as we saw in Syria just now, not 10 centuries ago. They kill, you know, they, 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 they kill the person, they cut his hands, they cut his feet, and the kids, imagine kids, how evil. What, what those kids will be when they grow. The kids are playing with the hands and the head as football. They throw them to the kids to play with them. And even they force them to play with them because they want them to be aggressive, supposedly, so later they can kill easy. A way of life is to bring some nails and put it in the eyes of those people who I don't like. That's a way of life. Or maybe the way of life is to say to my followers, prepare for them, your horses and your force, so you are going to install terror in the heart of the disbelievers. And the funny they say to us, ISIS have nothing to do with Islam. I mean, here you notice how, how Muslims are, like there's one, one, one of two ways. Either you are a Muslim ashamed of Islam, so you're trying to make it something, look something different. You're trying to create your own version of it. But as you see, this is Muhammad talking and Quran talking. So what you give me, what you present to me is a lie. When a Muslim, he says, oh, we Muslims, we are not, uh, we, we attack only those who attack us, show us where. They show you in the Quran, it says, aren't you going to attack those who kick you out from their land, from your land? The fact nobody kicked them out. Even the Muslim, they say they are immigrant, they immigrated, they did not kicked out. You see, what, what, how you call yourself immigrant if you've been kicked out? You are not. It was Muhammad who expelled people from their land. And he committed geno genocide. Isn't it Muhammad, he said, if I am victorious, I'm going to cleanse the land from the Christians and the Jews. And right now there's zero Christians, zero Jews in Saudi Arabia. Somebody will say there's a lot of people working there. Oh, those are not citizens, my friend. What happened? Even Muslim, they say that Muhammad was married to a woman. Her name is Khadija, his first wife, and she was Nasara, which means supposedly Christians, which I believe they are a Christian cult. So what happened to those people? The answer in front of you.
I will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. Right now we have zero Jews, zero Christians in the Arabian Peninsula. This is the way of life. This is the way of life. What about beating your wife? This is a way of life. The Quran teaches you how to beat your wife. And the funny, the Muslims, when they read those verses, they add things to the Quran to make it look nicer, which is really stupid. So they say, first and second, what first and second? Where is the word first and where is the word second? And where is where do you get this from? And does it really matter which one comes first? At the end, you beat them in order to do what? To force them to obey you. Look at the fabrication in the translation. As those women who is part of part ye fear this disloyalty and ill conduct. By the way, it doesn't say any of that. No shoes, because you see, this is the this is the this is how the fabrication always works. They translated the word no shoes disloyalty. Well, Muhammad he was a Nashes to Sauda, and we can show you the verse. Well, Muhammad he did not shoes. How come you Muslim you don't say disloyalty? Ah, uh, because he's Muhammad. See here the see the corruption. They have corrupted Quran. They have corrupted translation. All of this is to cover up the stupidity of and this evil of this cult. Otherwise, why you are hiding the, the, the meaning? Why in the other verse, when Muhammad did not shoes, you don't say disloyalty? Do you dare? We don't dare. Muhammad have disloyalty. So if you fear their disloyalty, according to an ill conduct, what does that mean? You ask a Muslim, he says, what if your wife cheating with you? Stop lying, you idiot. In Islam, if a woman, she is cheating and she is married, the punishment is a stoning to death. Coward. So don't mix things up. The video editor, previously known as uh, Mimi Hijab, they ask him about uh, beating women. He says, what if your wife, she is hurting your child? What hurting your child, you idiot? Does it say here this? It says, if you fear disloyalty or ill conduct, this is how about beating child? I mean, look how they try to fabricate stories. You will not find in all Islamic explanation anywhere that a Muslim woman, she was beating her child. And by the way, you can beat your child in Islam until you kill him. So they try to reproduce a new religion to make, to make it able to be swallowed. But can we really swallow it? And here they add, look, words, they add words. Admonish them first. Where is the word first in the Quran? They put it between the bracket, which means it's not there. At least this guy is a little bit honest. He says, he put it between brackets saying, I'm lying to you, by the way, it's not there. And then next, where is the word next? Ah, between two brackets. It means it's not there. Refuse to share their bed. It doesn't say refuse to share their bed. It means, it says, jail them in the madaja. Jail them in their rooms. Wahjuruhunna fil madaja. Jail them in their rooms. And then beat them. And then here we add the word lightly. What is the word lightly? Where in the Quran it says the word lightly? Just to show you the stupidity of this religion. If the word lightly should appear there, don't you think that Allah, he should say the word lightly? You know what I mean? I mean, are you Muslims fixing the Quran? Did you notice that Allah is a stupid? So you need to add the word lightly to fix the meaning, to explain it, which because Allah, he was not smart enough and he, he forgot to add the word lightly. <laughs> Even those comment between two bracket is shown as the stupidity of this cult and how the Muslim, they try, try to make it uh, look nicer. If you change the translator, you will see that as if you are reading different Quran. This is Yusuf I translation. If I go as an example to Bikta, what I will find? I mean, both of them, they are Muslims. Both of them, their name is Muhammad. Look at this. The first and the second and the third is gone. And the word beat them lightly disappear. It says, and discourage them. What happened? Is that a new Quran? Is that a new religion? It's the same Quran. Discourage them 
And then if they obey you, seek not a way against them. So what the point of beating them? To force them to obey you. Not as this filthy coward, he says, what if somebody is beating your child? What if your wife beating your child? The whole point is terrorism. This is terrorism. You see, violence is used for two reasons. Either to eliminate your enemy, you kill him totally, or to force him to do something. That's it. There's no third reason. So, you beat your wife, you terrify her, you terrorize her body, you leave dark spot in her skin, as the Hadith says, in order to make her obey you. And if you don't believe me, I can show you even the reference about that. When uh, the, the, Actually, the beating came because a man, he did beat his wife until her skin became a greener than her clothes. And who is the one who said that? Aisha. Aisha, she said, that Rafa, he divorced his wife. And by the way, uh, uh, as long as we are talking about way of life, we will talk about this too. Uh, but let us talk about beating first. He showed her, you know, a woman she came uh, because her husband did beat her, and she showed her a green spot in her skin caused by beating. Do you see the light beating? What Muhammad did? Did he say don't beat her like that? No. He took the side of the man. And then Aisha, she said, who said that? Aisha. I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Do you see it? Aisha, the first uh, most beloved dish to Muhammad. I mean, have you ever heard of a man? He described his favorite wife as a dish of food. How insulting, how disgusting, how filthy, how savage. Imagine I have 13 wives and I say, okay, I like, I like, uh, let's say, uh, I like tomato. Huh? So I say, oh, Aisha is my tomato. You are my onion. You, uh, you are my zucchini. What is this guy is talking about? This is how filthy, trashy this man who they call him prophet. And now the woman she is beating until her skin is greener than her clothes. What Muhammad did, he, get, he went all over the women. And Aisha, she said, look, look, her skin is greener than her clothes. Did Muhammad say anything about this story here that why you do that? You will see that Muhammad, he ordered the man to rape this woman. And he told her, oh, you should know if this is your intention to go back to your previous husband, you cannot go back to him unless you sleep with this guy. And this is a way of life. This is something we need to talk about. What, what Muhammad is talking about here? Muhammad, he come with a new way of life. And by the way, this is the reference for this hadith, for if you are looking for it, about beating women. Hadith number 5825. Muhammad, he created a rule, a way of life, that if you divorce your wife three times, she cannot come back to you until she go and open her legs to a new guy. Have you ever heard of a new life like this? And a way of life like this? So now the woman, she got divorced because her husband is an idiot. And now she has babies. She want to go back to them because he is the one who will keep the babies. So now she suffer. She do anything to go back. Not because she liked the man. He is obviously an idiot. Otherwise, why he would divorce her if she is not a bad woman? But she cannot get back to him unless she sleep with a new guy. That is a way of life. In order to go back, she had to sleep with a new guy. What kind of religion this religion is? Let us find the verse. <laughs> I mean, did you notice how many, uh, uh, how many beautiful things this religion it is? Chapter two, verse number thirty. Read carefully and laugh. And if he has divorced her, between two bracket again, you see Allah strip it. He don't. He need to add the third word. He need to add the third time. But Allah forgot. So the Muslims, they are correcting the Quran. Then she is not lawful into him until she wedded another husband. 
I mean, have you ever heard of a prostitution more than this? So now the women, she got divorced. The husband, he want to have her back. What they would do? They would go and find a friend to marry his wife for two nights, three nights, sleep with her, have sex, boom, boom. And then after that, he divorced her. And then the, the previous husband, he married her. This is a way of life. This is a way of life. You ask the Muslims, what is the wisdom of this garbage? They say to you, oh, this is a punishment for the husband because he divorced her. My friend, the one who got screwed, excuse my language, is the women, not the husband. The husband is his, he's in his bed having other wives. He don't care. Obviously, he don't care. You force the victim to be raped again so she can go back to her children. Because this is nothing but a rape. Chapter 2, verse number 230. This is a way of life. What else way of life? I mean, I cannot find one thing in this cult. is a way, It's a way of death. What about cutting hands? Cutting hands. Yes, brother. Cutting hands. Let me find you this story here. Uh, I hope I can find it. <laughs> I don't know if I will find it. Uh, let's see. It's about a guy, he, he stole, you know, Muhammad, he came with a rule. Uh, if you stole an egg, we should cut your hand. When the fact he is the biggest thief ever, but you cannot steal from the Muslims, you can steal from Christians, you can steal from the Jews. But I want to show you here a funny story, I try to find it. Okay. Let's see. You see, the stories are very easy to find in Arabic, but it's very hard to find them in English. And uh, let's see. Which one? Which one? Okay, let's try this. Hmm. It's very important, you know, for me, I don't like to mention something without showing reference because this cult is very, you know, they love deceiving. So we show them the story. We show them the reference. Still, they say it's not true. You know what I mean? We show them the video, video editing. Still, they say it's not true. Here we go. Ah, oh, this is a different one. Hold on. Uh, I have tons of hadith in front of me, but I'm looking for a specific one.
Okay, I think we found it. Let us see. Okay. Okay, uh, this one this one will do. There's one is with more details I would like to show it. I will put it in the screen in a second. Give me a second. Uh, but this one will do. Look at this filthy coward Muhammad. The punishment, hudud, this is the way of life. Because remember, when you weigh, when you live as a Muslim, there's a way of life. What is the way of life? What if you do this? What will happen? Let us see. A thief was brought to the Prophet. He said, kill him. And here you ask yourself, well, what, what this guy is talking about? Why you want to kill the thief? What, what, what do you mean? Here they are showing you how wise Muhammad is. The people said, but he had committed theft, which means supposedly the punishment is not death. The messenger of Allah said, okay, cut off his hand, the way of life. So now, if we go in the street and we have a bunch of thieves, what we will see in the street, we have people without hands. And what is the penalty and why you will be losing your hand if you steal? Steal what? An egg. An egg. Muhammad, the thief of caravan, nobody cut his hands. And yet now he is trying to say, I am going to put law and order. You cannot steal. You can steal only when you go with me attacking the Christian and the Jews and the Hindus and the atheists and the pagans. But you cannot steal from the Muslims. Otherwise, I will cut your hand. But Muhammad was even stealing from the Muslims. He stole the wives of the Muslims. As an example, the wife, his own son. So he said, cut off his hand. So his right hand cut off. And right away, they start with the right hand. I mean, how nice. So the guy will be disabled for the rest of his life. So now he was a thief because he was hungry. And now how he can afford to live? What he can do for a living? He will go back to steal again. And his hand was cut off. Praise be to Allah. The hand cutter. He was brought in the second time. And Muhammad, he is so peaceful and so loving. He said, kill him. The people said, but he committed theft. So Allah Messenger, then he said, okay, cut off his foot. What? Cut off his foot. I mean, isn't it beautiful? And you are telling me Islam is not the way of life. What's wrong with you? Be honest with me. Isn't it beautiful to go in the street and watch people cutting their hands and cutting their feet? So now the guy, he have no right hand and he have no left foot. Because the Quran says, cut them from the opposite direction. You might wonder why it says, this is Quran. Quran says, you cut the, uh, you know, from khil or khilaf, which means from uh, uh, opposite direction. So if you cut the right hand, you cut the left foot. And then if you cut the left foot, left hand, you cut the right uh, foot. So they cut off his left foot. And then he was brought for this third time. Okay. Third time. And the prophet said, kill him. But they said to him, but he committed theft only. I mean, don't Muhammad notice that this is the same guy? But the Muslim here, they saw you that Muhammad, he knew the future. The Messenger of Allah said, okay, cut off his hand. So his left hand was cut off. And then he was brought for the first time. He said, kill him. The people said, but he has committed theft. So he said, cut off his foot. And now let me show you the stupidity of this story. I mean, this guy, guys, I don't know if you notice with me, how, how uh, Islamic books is full of fabrications and stupidity. It's made for a Muslim, not for us. Because only Muslim can swallow this. We, we, we cannot. To make it simple for you, focus with me, please. This is the guy. He have two hands, as all of us. 
and he have two foot excuse my uh, art so first time we cut what we cut his right hand correct we cut his right hand okay wonderful I'm not saying it's a wonderful act okay so now this right hand is cut off no right hand is gone and then th second second time he came we cut the opposite direction foot this foot is gone now they brought him for the third time they got the left hand now they brought him for the third time for theft how he can steal I mean the guy he have no hands both hands are gone one foot is gone he stole for the first time how are you listening do you see the stupidity i mean even a donkey cannot swallow this story a donkey certified donkey but Muslims, they swallow it easy. This is no problem. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah, brother. If we ask Zakir and Ayak, he will say to you, Brother Fitr, the Prophet knew the future. And they brought for him the God of all time. And he didn't cut the hand. And then he cut the hand. And then they threw the hand. And then he comes for the fourth time. And then they kill him. How the guy he stole for the first time, you donkey? He have no hands. He cannot even walk. He cannot move from his place. I mean, how this guy will live? I mean, and and the, and the, they say to you, Islam is sent, and Muhammad was sent as a mercy. So imagine now what we have in the front of us. We have a a flesh of a human being. Have no hands, have no feet, literally. They cut his forefoot. And now he cut his forefoot. And then what the Muslims did? Just to show you the merciful act of Islam. Read with me carefully. And please save the reference because later you might say, well, we can't find it. And this hadith is reported in many places, by the way, not only here. So he brought for the first time and said, kill him. And the people said, he has committed theft, a messenger of Allah. He said, cut off his foot. So his right foot was cut off. And now he have no feet, totally. He have no hands, totally. And then what they did, look at this. He was brought for the fifth time. People. He was what? He was brought for the fifth time. The guy now, he have no feet, he have no hands, and still he can steal. Do we have any Muslim he can explain to us the intelligence of this, this, this garbage religion? Fifth time? So now I have no feet, I have no hands, and now I'm accused of a theft for the fifth time, and I cannot walk anywhere, I don't have hands. And I am the thief who stole for the fifth time. So my friend, a way of life is to be stupid in Islam, because you have to be stupid to accept this story. A way of life is to have to be aggressive and a blood shade lover. To, a way of life is to beat your wife. A way of life is to lie to your wife, to lie your friends. This is a way of life, Islam, to, to, to be a sexual predator. If you remember the, the video editor previously known as Mimi Hijab, he says to me, I am a sexual predator. Why? Because I was quoting his prophet where, where he ordered Muslim women to suckle adult men. This is a way of life. If you quote their prophet, they accuse you to be a sexual predator. Not their prophet, the child molester. Marrying six years old in Islam is lawful. This is a way of life. So when a Muslim he says to you, a way of life Islam is, 
you need to vomit for he just told you all what I just told you what they try to show you oh we give a charity but he will not tell you that the charity is not a charity in Islam it's a theft I know a woman from Bosnia I met her this was many years ago so like you know she was sitting and I'm visiting the family and she was there she is their neighbor so they introduce her she have a Muslim name so you know I said it's a great opportunity to talk to her about the gospel you know maybe I can make her leave Islam so then she told her son don't make your clothes dirty tomorrow you will wear the same clothes to go to the church I look at her and she's a Muslim how well, she is to go to the church so I said to her so you're a Christian she said yeah I said, but your name is a Muslim oh, I said I used to be a Muslim now I am a Christian all my, me and my family I said how come what happened she is from Bosnia. she told us during the war there was camps made by the Muslims for a charity and there's camps made by the Christians for charities the Christian they build their charity in the Christian territory the Muslim they build their charity in the Muslim territory she said I went with my children and she have a bunch of them seeking food and some uh, like uh, gas for, for it's winter it's cold it's snow people are dying from, from 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 hunger it's a war so she stand all day until her turn came and then the guy he's a Saudi he said to her you are not wearing hijab so we cannot give you charity this is only for Muslims because she is not wearing hijab if she doesn't wear hijab obviously she don't care for us now so now she went and she some people they gave her hijab she she put it in her head she stand again she want to feed her children she have no other solution she stand again for hours until her turn is back and, and not only that she told me she waited until that guy his shift is over so she was watching until this guy is gone so a new guy will be standing to give the 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 the, the, the aid so she went and she wait until that guy he left and then she put hijab in her head and she came again the new guy look what he did he asked her little the little one in her children's he said to her he said to him do your mom pray at home he said no he said get out we can't give you charity she don't pray she's a Muslim then she said I took my children I cross the, the the line which is between the Christian territory and the Muslim territory I went to the Christian charity they did not ask me if I'm a Christian or a Muslim they did not say anything about about Christianity to me they did not even say to me even to give anything about me all what they did they brought a doctor he chucked my kids they brought nurse they gave them medicine they gave us food blankets and they put us in a warm place and all the time I was there not a single one bothered me with my religion so I became a Christian And now her and her family are Christians. So even their charity is terrorism. You are forcing Islam in the women to get some food. And yet she is a Muslim, by the way. I mean, she is born from a Muslim family. And she lives in the Muslim territory. And her name is a Muslim. And I just told you her name is a Muslim name. All of this is not enough. You are not praying to Allah. We will punish you. Maybe this is one of the few Muslims I met. They did not leave Islam because of me. I was just listening to her story. So my friend, when they say to you Islam is a way of life, they are lying to you. Islam is a way of death. And if you are a Muslim, please leave a comment underneath and prove me wrong. You know, the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, do you know that the Prophet said that a woman, she gave some water to a dog. He was thirsty. He, she will go to heaven okay I will go with you that's nice but isn't it your prophet he says kill all the dogs all the dogs and when people they start complaining hmm. he said okay uh, kill only uh, uh, dogs who they are not the guardian dogs what
Why a prophet of God, he want to kill all the dogs? What's wrong? How in one story they say, a woman, she gave water to a dog, she will go to heaven. And then you say, kill all the dogs. I heard Allah Messenger commanding the killing of dogs. He gave a list, by the way, to kill. By the way, do you know that Muhammad, a way of life, Islam is a way of life. Do you know that Muhammad, he waged way, war, jihad, on lizard? Do you know that? Do you know if you kill lizard, you get extra versions from Allah? Why? Even lizard are not saved from Muhammad. Why, if I kill a lizard, I will get more versions? Muhammad, he come with a story that when Abraham was being burned by the pagans, all animals in the jungle, it's like a cartoon movie, man. They were bringing water to stop the fire, except the lizard, he was blowing wind to burn him more. So Muhammad, he told his followers, peaceful followers, do jihad against the lizard, for they are the one who killed, or he, they are the one who tried to burn Prophet Abraham. Let us see. Even Muhammad, he believed that lizard was a human, and he was became he became a lizard, as you see in this hadith here. Uh, let us see here where we can find. Uh, here Muhammad he claimed that lizard they used to be Jews. <laughs> And you are telling me Islam is not, I mean, this is genius. They brought a lizard for him to eat. Muhammad, he said, I cannot eat him because I think they are Jews. The lizard, and not only they are Jews, they are Orthodox Jews. Even Muhammad, he thinks that rats are Jews. I, I can show you the hate, I'm not making fun. Huh? Uh, well, we can't find the hadith. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Give me a second. Let us see here. But anyway, I mean, obviously this man, like here he's speaking about Allah, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys, you know. Um, a guy who made fun of the miswak, Allah made him give birth to a miswak because he put the miswak in his anus. Uh, <clears throat> tons of stories qualified to be believed only for idiots
Let us see. Yeah, here we go. We found the hadith. Give me a second. A way of life, right? I mean, this is a way of science, not only a way of life. The prophet says a group of Israeli were lost and nobody knows where they, what they did. Nobody knows. I mean, he know only they are lost. <laughs> but I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. Look at this, 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 this donkey. Once he said they are lizard. Once they say he, is no, uh, he made them uh, monkeys and pigs. And once he say they are rats. I mean, this guy, he look around him. He look at the animals. He see nothing but Jews. As you see. And Muhammad now is because he's a genius. He is explaining to us how this has happened. And this is Sahih Bukhari, so they can't say it's weak. Muhammad, he is saying us how that can be true. But I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. For if you put the, link, the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if the milk of a sheep put in front of it, it will drink it. Look at this genius. So the reason he think that they are Jews, those rats, because they don't drink the milk of the camel, which is forbidden for the Jews to drink. So obviously they are not only Jews, they are Orthodox Jews. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. Based on the method of Muhammad, I can say donkeys are Muslims. Because if you put alcohol to donkeys, they will not drink it. You see, I'm not saying donkeys are Muslims now. I'm just using the method of Muhammad, comparing between animal's behavior and the human, and then we can find out who is who, is who and who is not. Have you ever heard, and now the Muslim, they will cut my, they will edit my video, and they will say, Muslim, Christian prince says, a Muslim is donkey. By the way, let me tell you something. I'm very straightforward. I, I don't hide my belief. I believe you have to be a donkey to believe in such a garbage. So you like it, you don't like it, I don't care. If you believe in this garbage, you are a Muslim or not, you are a, you are a donkey. Actually, donkeys are smarter than you. Did I hurt your feeling? I don't care. What they call them, the scientists who study animals? What they call them? What the name for them? What is this, uh, the, 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 I don't know, like, uh, what they call them, those uh, scientists? Excuse my English is not that good, as you know. So here we see that when they say to us Islam is a way of life, I say Islam is a way of stupidity. Islam is a way of madness. Zolo jest, Zolo. Okay, Muhammad is a Zolo jest, the best Jolo Jolo jest. I mean, but you cannot make it easier. Jolo, Zulu, Zulu jest, Zulu jest. Muhammad is a Zulu jest. I mean, I don't like this Jolicist man. Even Muhammad will not like it. He will kill me for giving him this name. You know, he's very peaceful. Like, come on, give me a better name. What about you? We name him like uh, Muhammad Zulu Fit, Zulu Bit, Zulu Spit, Zulu Kit. And we give the Prophet a choice to choose which name he like. So when they give us this garbage that Islam is a way of life, we knew that Islam is a way of death, a way of corruption, a way of stupidity, a way of you believing in superstition stories, a cutting hands, feet, torturing, putting nails in the eyes, beating your wife, lying to your wife, lying to your family, lying to your friends. It is a life of corruption. And the biggest corrupt ever we heard about became so famous. Let's say the most famous corrupt man in history in Arabia is Muhammad. The man, he went to his own son wife when the husband was not there and he flirted with her. Is that, a, is that a way of life? What do you think if your friend, not your father, like Muhammad, he was the father of this man by adoption. Imagine your friend, he go to your house when you are not there. Your wife, she opened the door. He said to her, praise be to Allah, my heart is beating for you. Is that a way of life? Well, if this is a way of life, leave it then. Enjoy it. I want to say thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. And for those who like to support us, you can go always to uh, Patreon and you can subscribe. We appreciate your care. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. 
and we will see you soon again don't forget to subscribe the way of life is waiting muhammad the most wonderful man the wife beater the child molester the man killer the thief and the books editor way of life with muhammad is something very special nobody can deny if you take him with you to the zoo he will think the rat is a jew the lizard is a jew the camel is a jew for he is obsessed he have a phobia muhammad the filthy man became the best example in the world of corruption to the point you see media tv stations speaking about how amazing the prophet was but you cannot fool us you cannot fool us we are not a bunch of fools the lord the messiah said from their fruits you shall know them and all what we showed you in the screen today is the fruits of muhammad nothing of my own from their fruit you shall know them thank you christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again bye, -bye.